Hello, today's shave is going to be with my uh, 1961 Fat Boy. I'm going to be using it on setting 9. I'm going to be using a Gillette Platinum Blade. I'm going to be using the Arco for the, uh, this will be the second time. I had a uh, run-in with that Q-Shave Razor. There'll be a uh, video up with that. Um, and I'll be using skin bracer. This is my favorite, uh, aftershave. So, no, if I haven't said it before, with these, uh, Russian style blades, they have wax that holds the paper on. So when you're taking them off, please be careful or you will get cut bad. So, no, this will be a new one. I, uh, I got caught up pretty bad by that Q-Shave razor here on the upper lip and I gave it a couple days to heal, so. Um, yeah. And I wanted to give this Arco a try, so. I got my boar brush soaking. Uh, I'm gonna wet my face up. If my, uh, I'm sorry for the appearance of my skin, I, uh, I have an intolerance to, uh, wheat. Didn't find out about it until I was in my, uh, late 20s. Mm. I love this Arco. This stuff lathers up pretty good. People say it smells like a urinal cake it doesn't I think it's got like a uh, like a citronella kind of smell but I do it right out of the bowl no point in our the tin there's no point in messing around with a bowl and all that stuff so let's see yeah, it needs a little water I think I'm starting to get good at this lathering thing. <laughs> it's been a while. I might end up turning the fat boy down. It's been a while since I shaved with it, so. Be careful with my upper lip. All right, nothing like doing it. So uh, I miss this razor. This razor always give me a good shave. So. Well, I hope your guys' week's going well. Today's hump day. So. And you've had some good shaves. I've watched a couple of you. Uh, that I'm subscribed to. And I watched shaving with Peg Leg with his, uh, that razor that cut him up pretty bad. Wow. That's about what that uh, Q-Shave razor did to me. But it did it on my upper lip. I got a scar. But I had my... Uh, Septic pencil. I normally don't need it. I don't I don't use it But that razor's got some manufacturing uh, flaws And they'll be that'll be in the video, but 
I got a full refund and uh I've got a um Razor Rock German 37 on the way. Tell you what, a lot of people uh right off these Gillette Platinum blades. But I'm going to be honest with you, I got a smoother, sh smoother, not sharper, smoother shave out of them compared to the Perma Sharps. I guess it has something to do with that coating, but, uh, I don't know. I see a difference. This is the razor I use to uh, gauge a blade because... This is the adjustable I have the most experience with. But I gotta be careful. I had a uh, family member made a dish. They didn't tell me it had uh, gluten in it and uh, wheat in it. And it, uh, I get, uh, I break out from the stuff, so. I have to be careful. It stinks, but it is what it is. I'm just glad I don't have full celiac disease like my uh in my family. A couple of them have it full out. And when they get the stuff they get sick. They have to use an EpiPen and all that stuff. A little bit of water, this Arco comes to life. Second pass. And this stuff's slick. The only thing I don't care about it is uh, the stubble seems to. Uh, might be the blather's too thick though. So. Let's go side grain. Man, does this razor shave nice. I'm going to try riding the cap with this today. See how that goes. Do it on my uh, final pass, though. Tell you one thing. I've got the window open, and here in uh, Vermont, they're spreading manure on the fields, and oh, man. Kind of uh, regretting I, uh, I did that. <laughs> I won't do this because that's where that sucker got me. You know, I haven't really done uh, much side grain under the nose with this, so I'll tone it down a little bit. And uh, put a little uh, be careful. Gotta be careful though, because the fat boy's got the uh. The ends of the blade are exposed, so. Alright. That's good. Alright, let's do the last pass and call it cute and get the uh, 
wash up and get the aftershave on. So. Now what I do now, after uh, experimenting, is I just keep my uh, bowl that I use for lathering and normally. I want this last to be thin anyway, so. I keep water in that bowl and I just put some on my fingertips and yeah my lather's thinner and thinning it out. Hey. It's only one way to get good at it and that's to do it, so right? Well you guys uh this is my first soap soap. I know some people say the uh, Primo is, but all right. I turned it down to five. I'll keep it at five for the. Uh, I normally just go nine, but I'm going to be trying riding the cap. Yeah, it feels good. Oh. A little rough here still, but... Well, I am definitely disappointed with that Q-shape razor. This soap, on the other hand, I think I found uh, my new shaving soap, and you really can't complain about the price. Let's see. Ah, good enough. Let's, uh... To rinse off, I'll rinse off and get the skin bracer on. No cuts. Well, let's see. No cuts. Everything's good. I like this stuff. Uh, the, the smell and the burn is just awesome. Yeah, I didn't get enough. Oh, yeah, I did. Woo ah, nice shave. Definitely a uh, nice change of pace from that uh, Q-Shave razor. But uh, I will have a review. It's not really. It's just a quick video on it. And uh, it's uh, what I got, the uh, Razor Rock German 37 coming. That'll be the next shave. Uh, but uh, you can find one of these fat boys cheap. Uh, get it. I saw one on uh, eBay there. I think it was a 60, but it was rough around the handle. I think they wanted like 40 bucks for it. So I, uh, like I said in my video, I went with the 
an Etsy seller, Dapper Studios CC there, and I don't regret it. This razor's been good. Uh, <laughs> and I will talk about, uh, in that Q-Shave review, uh, a good alternative, and it's, uh, it's a slim, because for what you pay for that Q-Shave razor, you could get yourself a nice slim, so. But no, uh, that's, uh, that good shave with this 61 Fat Boy, and I hope you guys have some, uh, good shaves for the rest of the week, and, uh, when that comes in, that's supposed to be in here this weekend, I will do a shave, probably a Monday shave or something, have the great rest of your week, uh, good shaves, and thank you for watching, if you have any comments, comment down below, and subscribe if you like what I produce, thank you.